Uh, hi guys, this is the instrument for measuring Planck constants. Uh, we we have to use this uh, photoelectric equation in in this instrument. Now this is voltage resistor, and this is light intensity con controller. And this one, if we switch on this, uh, current will be measured, and if we switch on this voltage, uh, voltage will be measured. Now I have, when I increase this voltage. Yeah, voltage is increased here. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I have to uh, do the theory first. Yeah, in this circuit, uh, let's just on off. Uh, when the light incident on this cathode, cathode, photoelectric effect will be occurs, and photoelectrons will be emit. And these photoelectrons will be collected at this anode. And this anode is connected with a micro emitter and the voltage. And here we apply a voltage with positive terminal, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah. When the electrons come out, this anode is positively charged. So the electrons will attract, will be attracted towards the anode. So, <coughs> and a current is set up. So this current is nothing but a photo current. But our M is nothing that. When we reverse this polarity, that is, uh, I I can draw another circuit diagram. Yeah, this cathode. Yeah, light falls on it, and a node, electrons goes on this direction. Micro emitter, voltage, yeah, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah, this one is negative. This one is. In this diagram, <coughs> we have this anode is connected with the negative terminal, so. The electrons coming towards the anode will be repelled due to the, due to the negative. So, uh, at zero, when this is zero, when this is zero, zero volt. I mean, stop. When this is zero volts, no current will. Uh, only the photo current will flow. Okay. Then, when I increase this reverse uh, reverse pot potential, so that the electron will be repelled, so that no electron will flow no electron will flow so <coughs> reverse potential is nothing but the minimum potential applied on the anode so that no photo current flows so from the einstein photoelectric equation we have when a light falls with a uh, with a energy is new and this Metals has a work function phi, so the maximum kinetic energies for the max for the electrons, that means photoelectrons, will be given by H nu minus phi. This phi is nothing but work function of the metal, that is the cathode we use. So for the <coughs> reverse current, reverse potential half mv square max is nothing is equal to e b naught where b naught is the stopping potential stopping potential so e b naught is nothing is nu minus phi this implies b naught is equal to i by e nu minus phi from this equation we can calculate the value of Planck constant. If we draw a graph, it is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So, it will have a graph like this form. On this, reverse voltage, uh, reverse voltage bs, and on this frequency of the incident light. So, we have we have uh, we'll have a graph like this, having intercept. This one is phi, nothing phi, and this is slope is nothing you know, h by e. So, on 
knowing the theta slope, the I mean slope, then theta <coughs> is equal to nothing, i is by e. So i is equal to e into ten theta. But from the graph, we can calculate the ten theta value by choosing any two points a b c so this implies i c is equal to e into b c by a b so guys now i think we have clear about the theory let's start with the <coughs> experiment for the experiment uh, i would like to uh, some uh, i would like to mention some uh, precaution before the before experimenting For every experiment, you have to knock down this voltage adjuster to zero. Let me start with the uh, light width. Uh, this is filter, light filter. This one is red, orange, and green, yellow. This one is blue. So we'll start with the maximum wavelength. This one red is having maximum wavelength. Its wavelength is 635 nanometer. So let's start with this. Uh, light intensity is maximum. <coughs> light, in, light, con light intensity controller I have put in the maximum. So don't touch it. So, yeah. When I use the red filter, the photo current is actually like 0 0.40. <coughs> so, guys. You need to experiment. There is no need for the uh, photo current, but I actually show that for the uh, for better understandings, uh, your tables would be like this: uh, frequency, frequency, and reverse potential. Reverse potential. Yeah, frequency can be calculated from the, uh, the from the wavelength. Yeah, frequency is equal to C by lambda I T. Yeah. Now, uh, for the red having wavelength how much? Six thirty-five nanometer. You can uh, calculate their respective frequency. Uh, so simply, I will use I will write red. For red, on this, you have to apply reversely. Yeah. On applying reverse voltage, we still have something current, 0 0.40. So, if I increase this voltage, reverse voltage, I mean, reverse voltage, the current goes on decreasing due to the repulsion of the anode. So, when I put zero, yeah, there is no photo current. So, reverse potential is 0 0.30. So, on like this, you can next use orange one. While using this, you have to mind that you should use the uh, wavelength in the <coughs> Hi guys, sorry for that. Let me start with uh, with a new one. Yeah, for each every observation, you have to put this voltage in zero so that you have no you will have no error on that so let me use one red one red one on red one the the photo current is 0 0.40 micro ampere so when voltage is increased reverse voltage is increased it is zero zero so when this photo current is zero the reverse voltage is 0 0.29, somewhat different from the earlier one. Yeah, I think 0 0.30 is, is sufficient. So then after that, let me deal with orange, uh, whose wavelength is 570 nanometer. For uh, this one is an orange filter, optical fiber. So on orange, so you should put down this to zero. So when this uh, orange one, uh, the photo current is 1.57. So, you have to measure the reverse voltage. So, set this uh, photo current to uh, zero. After that, you switch this to measure the voltage. Yeah. 
0 0.55 so so you have to do like same just like this for orange blue yellow green so after that we'll get a graph you will get a graph on plotting graph yeah like this like this so you have to use frequency in the order of like 10 to the power 14 and uh, reverse voltage is same frequency use frequency should be of the order order 10 to the power 14 so after that you choose two points a and b a and b so you can measure the slope theta after that you can calculate the value of ice as e equal to 10 theta thus this is the required value so uh, this ends the plan constant measurements and you can also uh, find out the work function of the cathode uh, cathode also uh, work function will be this intercept so this ends the uh, experiments for plan constants and and this is oh, I'm sorry. And this is me performing these experiments, and uh, and we have my friends, uh, Vicky Yumnams. And uh, hi, I'm the guys. videographer. Hi, guys. Thank you all. Bye-bye.